so guys to now the topic is tcp dump so what is tcp dump in f5 why it came into picture so first of all first important point is it is a linux utility so if you want to capture packets let's say i have a client i have an f5 i have server 1 server 2 server 3 if i want to capture traffic what is coming in and what is going out so either you can see on stat stable which i showed you but you want to see whether three way handshake is fine let's say customer is reporting some issues related to slowness let's say customer is reporting some issues related to response code it's receiving 500 error it's receiving 302 error let's say customer is reporting issues application not accessible so in this cases guys f5 has a utility which is called tcp dump since f5 works on a linux utility and linux utility to capture a packet is called tcp dump so tcp dump is same functionality which is called as a wire shock to read a packet you need to run tcp dump so tcp dump will capture all the packet which is coming inside and which is going outside it will also capture your traffic management microkernel packets also so guys now we will discuss different different scenarios how to take tcp dump let's say if i want to just view the traffic for specific vlan i want to see the traffic let's say i want i have a i'm just taking our topology we have client we have f5 we have server 1 server 2 server 3 and these servers are on internal vlan right we have two vlans one is internal vlan and one is external vlan let's say i want to take capture only for internal vlan someone i want to see whether i am getting traffic or not so in this case guys how you can run the tcp dump because when i go here i have network vlan internal and external can you see this so i want to capture a traffic for a specific vlan so what i will do is I will run a command tcp dump minus interface. Which interface? So I will give VLAN interface name. Either you can give 1.3 or I can give internal. So you need to mention the same. So I will give same nomenclature tcp dump then internal spelling you need to note so it will capture all the traffic on specific vlan let's say i want to capture a traffic on specific interface so you need to run a command same command utility is same first command is same tcp dump minus interface then particular 1.1 1.2 or 1.3 let's say i want to troubleshoot any issues related to ha so i will mention tcp dump minus i i represent interface 1.3 let's say i want to capture traffic for internal traffic i want to capture traffic for external network between client to f5 then i will say this one let's say guys now let's say guys i want to capture a traffic on management interface tcp dump minus i eth 0 
I want to only capture traffic for management interface. So we have discussed there are two interface. One is management interface and one is data interface. So how to capture traffic for that? So in that case, you need to just mention the management interface. So you need to just mention ECP dump minus I E T H zero. Let's say I don't want to capture traffic on any interface. In that case, I don't know which interface I have. I'm just a new person. I will capture TCP dump minus I zero dot zero. It means any interface. Why people have question? Why zero dot zero? Because F I nomenclature is one dot one, one dot two. One is slot and one is port number. I don't know the slot number. I don't know the port number. In this case, I want to capture traffic on all interface. That is what I am doing it. Very, very important guys. Let's say I want to capture traffic. I have a virtual server, which is 192. 168 1.80. I want to capture traffic that is traveling to or from from specific IP address. So yeah, I will mention TCP dump. Then I will say host. Host is basically to mention the IP address. I will give IP address 192. 168 1.80. So it will capture all packets traveling from this IP to and from, from a specific IP address. Now, let's say I want to, I have a source IP. I don't have a destination IP, guys. I only have source IP this. I don't know what is my VIP IP. I don't know what is my destination IP, but I want to capture packets coming from this IP. I want to see this IP is connecting to which web. My question is, I want to know that this source IP of my customer is you are in troubleshooting. Your customer is reporting application not accessible. So what is the first question you will ask? What is your source IP? So I will say TCP dump host. Instead of host, you will mention SRC host 192.168.1.7. So it will capture all the traffic from a specific IP source. It will show you the source is connecting to which destination. From you need to mention it's from from it's not from and to it's only from traffic. I want to see traveling from a specific IP address. I mean to mention source, but if I want to mention traveling to and from, then I will mention only host, which I mentioned previously. I will not mention source. TCP dump host. Okay, very, very important guys. You can just note down the commands. Now, I want to, let's say I don't know, so I don't know the source IP, destination IP. I just want to capture a traffic on a port number. So I want to see traffic capturing or destined on a specific port. So I will say TCP dump port 80. I want to see packets traveling either sourced from or destined from specific port. So you need to run command TCP dump, then port, P-O-R-T, port number. Now let's see guys, if I want to capture, let's say I want to see I have a client 
आई हैव अ वर्चुअल आई पी आई हैव अ पूल मेंबर नाउ वट आई वॉन्ट टू कैप्चर इज आई हैव थ्री सर्वर गाइस टेन डॉट टू डॉट टू डॉट थर्टी टेन डॉट टू डॉट टू डॉट थर्टी वन टेन डॉट टू डॉट टू डॉट थर्टी टू I want to capture a traffic only. This customer is reporting issue with only this IP. So I want to capture a traffic from this web communication to this. So in this case, what I will say, TCP dump. Then I will give host virtual server one ninety two one sixty eight one dot eighty and host ten dot Two dot two dot thirty one. So it will capture only this. So can you see and combination? And means it will capture only traffic which is going from this to this. That's it. But if if I want to capture traffic from VIP to this IP also, this IP also, this IP also, because I want to see right. my load balancing calco is basically to load balance between this ip this ip and this ip in that case what i did guys i will run a command tcp dump then i will say host virtual server or host my server ip pool member 1 or i will say host 10. Two dot two dot thirty one. So this is how you want to capture it. So that's what I did, right? What I did was, let me just tell you, TCP dump minus NI. N is sometimes you will see that there is name to IP resolution will happen. Suppose you mistakenly capture wrong command. So sometimes to skip that name to host IP, something error will give. So you will mention N. I we have discussed interface zero dot zero is any interface. So can you see this? I want to capture traffic going from virtual server connecting to this, this, this. And guys, when you run a command TCP dump minus I zero zero, let's see what will happen. So I will clear this. I will run this command TCP dump minus i zero dot zero. Can you see this, guys? This is not clumsy, right? I am not getting what is coming or what is going. So I want to see this captures on Wireshark tool. I cannot read this. I can read this, but as a beginner, right? I don't know. I know a Wireshark tool. I want to read from that. So in this case, guys, what you need to run, you need to run a command TCP dump. Like I want to save how to save a file of TCP dump to Wireshark. Very very important. So in this case, TCP dump minus ni zero dot zero. Then I will mention host web IP or host pool IP. Then I will mention minus w to write and save it which directory because our F five file. Should be saved in some directory, so I will be saving into where temporary. Then I will give the name Cia dot p cap guys. Very very important guys. If you want to read a packet which is going in and out from virtual server to pool or pool to virtual server, you need to run this command. So. You can read the file. So Wireshark can only read a file from PK format only. If you don't have a file in PK format, it will not read it. 
very very important guys if you not don't know this command you can also run wireshark captures from gui so here you need to go system tab support can you see this tcp dump here you need to mention i need to capture want to capture on external or internal but there is limitation guys right i cannot mention multiple ip if i want to capture in cli it's giving you many many option you can run or command and command what we have discussed but in gui it does not give you much commands you can only capture on vlan level very very important now guys one more thing i want to explain you on capture so guys f5 when we talk about f5 f5 has categorized your hardware into three categories so when you capture a packet no one will tell you what is this low medium and high details so guys let's say i want to see which interface it's taking my packet flow i want to see flow direction i want to see the slot which is handling the packet so to read this what you are doing is f5 is providing you one feature call when you run this command tcp dump minus ni 0.0, .0 then there is one command after 0.0, .0 colon colon n n n and this n means it will capture your flow direction traffic it will capture your slot information this n means medium and this means high so generally it won't help you much because you don't know hardware what is going where it's going but if you are good in f5 you need to always mention this if you open an f5 case they will also suggest you when you run a wireshark capture <coughs> you need to mention this n n n low detail it will tell which slot it's using which port data is flowing medium details it will help you to determine the reset cause let's say f5 is resetting something f5 is resetting the traffic if you mention this this basically is helping f5 support team this may not will help you but as an f5 engineer you can run this and this high details will give you more details let's say it will give you which protocol it's using which data plane it's using data plane interface which vlan is associated with flow it will also give you local and remote address so when i run a command i did not run this but i will show you one thing let's take this capture and let's take this when i follow this tcp stream so what happening is i will go here can you see this when i run this command tcp dump minus ni 0.0, .0 colon colon n n n so there is one f5 ethernet trailer protocol where it will have i will show you so can you see this load detail so which slot it's going tmm interface which vip name it will give you so right now i did not mention much detail like n n n so it did not run much but when i run this command it will give you more detail so that nnn it may not help you you will not able to get this information but it will definitely help you as an f5 engineer if you are working in tech now what i will do guys i will show you how nnn will work i will run one command let's close this what i will do is i will run tcp dump minus ni 
जीरो डॉट जीरो एन 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 होस्ट वन नाइंटी टू वन सिक्सटी एट वन डॉट एटी वर्चुअल सर्वर आईपी वन इज रॉन्ग वन नाइंटी टू वन सिक्सटी एट वन डॉट एटी और यू कैन मैंशन और होस्ट टेन डॉट टू डॉट टू डॉट थर्टी आई एम मैंशनिंग ऑल माई पोल मेंबर्स थर्टी वन टेन डॉट टू डॉट टू डॉट थर्टी टू सो देर वॉज वन मिस्टेक ऑन हॉस्ट सो सी आई हैव रन द मिस्टेक हेयर राइट आई डिट नॉट सेव डेन सो वट आई विल सेव आई विल माइनस डब्ल्यू वेट टैम्प एफ फाइव टेक डॉट पी कैप नाउ आई विल एक्सेस I'll just access, and now let me close the captures. Now I will just refresh, and I will just move it. Okay. Yes, I will just go to desktop. and i will just open that file i will just open one of the capture let's say this let's open can you see this guys low detail i will just medium detail can you see this reset cause very very important guys sometimes people have a question why reset is getting so you can it will give you the reason can you see this is giving reset from a big ip internal linux host it will also tell you this one i was talking Which VLAN it's going? Can you see this twenty? Why twenty? Let's see. Because I have given the name twenty. Can you see this? It's giving me which VLAN traffic is going. What is my peer? What is the MAC address? What is the port? What is the source IP? And also I will show you which interface it's handling. Vip also it will give you. Vip name it's not giving. So that's what I was talking about. Also it will give you the flow ID. Flow ID. Can you see this? If I follow this, you can also filter through flow ID. Flow ID is basically you will bind your connection with backend. so i will just right click on this and i will apply as a filter select this and it will give me all packet related to that flow so this will help you if you are an excellent engineer this will help you to type where the packet is flowing whether it's going to the server or not so that is how this low medium high will help can you see this is flow id it's giving so this is how guys traffic capture tcp dump tool can help you